You want a Diet Coke? 56-year-old Sandra White had just lost 70 pounds and was feeling pretty good about her health when she started getting chest pains. I kept thinking, well, maybe it was my blood pressure or my nerves or something else. Sandra suffered a heart attack at work. At the hospital, she had an immediate angioplasty, clearing her blocked arteries with balloons and propping them open with stents. This is a medical emergency. Um, there, the blood supply to that part of the heart is limited to that single vessel. So if that vessel stays closed, you will permanently lose function of the heart. If we get in there and open it quickly, um, you can save the function of the heart. Dr. Paul Mahoney is an interventional cardiologist at Centera. He says years of research have proven that angioplasty is the most effective way to treat heart attack. It is better for several reasons. Uh, we, we get better outcomes. It's, a, it's safer for the patient. There's a risk of stroke and bleeding with the clot busting drugs that, is, um, that carries with it its own uh, risk of, of morbidity and mortality or complications and death. Studies conclude angioplasty works much better than medications for emergency cardiac care. There's multiple international randomized controlled clinical trials that demonstrate the superiority of angioplasty. It's important to recognize the symptoms and seek care. The hallmark is an unexplained and usually abrupt change in symptoms. Uh, the classic is severe chest pressure rating down the left arm and into the jaw. Uh, it can occur without chest pain, but more of a pressure, a sensation of tightening across the chest. One classic description is the elephant sitting on my chest. Uh, it can be unexplained, nausea associated with shortness of breath, uh, jaw discomfort, tooth discomfort. Anybody who experiences these types of symptoms uh, should seek immediate medical attention. I have felt just, I, I can't even describe it, I've just felt so much better. Quick artery clearing treatment puts Sandra back in the swing of things. This is Janet Vassell reporting.